Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you Red Dead Redemption 2 online. So this is actually my second time now playing. Well, so let's get you in there then. The first time I got banned for 30 days for a glitch, but we'll talk about that in another video. But anyways, I'm going to create my character real quick, uh, trying to get back up to how I had him before. Obviously my name is going to be Sweetmeat, so I'll type that in real quick. Alright. And I'm going to just go set my appearance real quick, so I'm going to fast forward all this. Going anywhere and neither am I. All right. We pulled the wrong one of you. Oops, I didn't mean to go back. So I'm going to select my character again, and yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. All right, then. And now should be Deputy, getting the would story you please? online. So the story on single player is different from online. So I didn't know that because I was playing the story first and thinking it would transfer over to online, but it doesn't. Okay, online is a completely let's different get a photograph. game. So, yeah. Bring your hands and up onto go. your chest. That looks so goofy. Stand there with your mouth open. Close. Take the Three, six, eight, two, one. I don't remember what my other character's number was. I know it was different, but I can't remember what it was. Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's East staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moving! What are you looking at? Go on! Get moving! You! You! You with the hammer! And you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out near Blackwater. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. I tell you what, I old tell Jameson you is what. A wretched, sour old bastard. That's like from no uh, you like to stay calm in there. You aren't saying tell nothing. You what? Well, you are now. Shut up. You know my wife has. I like that they add your character, how you customize it, and whatever you wear, it shows in the videos. She's been reading too That's many goddamn cool. books. Not a lot of games do that. Personally, I'm against education. Same-looking characters women I mean so that's pretty man, neat. Man, when you're I playing guess. with multiple people all their custom characters will show also in the videos the world. which is pretty nice education good day gentlemen oh don't do anything stupid nobody gets shot act like fools and the pair of you will be dead within a minute now what are your names Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away, aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good We're fortune We're not gonna stay out of trouble. We're gonna be outlaws. Yeah, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. 
be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Wendt, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? All right, so we're going to get free guns right here. And these are going to be like your main weapons. So, yeah. Come on. We're going to get to follow him, I guess. You better get on this horse. Yeah. Scrawny nag. It's not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Must be odd being out of those leg irons. Get on the horse when you're ready. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. So Mr. Horley's actually going to be the one that's giving you all your quests. So he'll give you like your main ones. But you want to stay in the, the good side. If you're on the bad side, you're going to have to get back up to the, the good again. So you can do their quests. So if you become an outlaw, you'll get different quests than what a normal person would get. You'll get like outlaw quests instead of the good. So you got to decide what you want to be. But obviously you're going to have to go to the good side to continue the quest if you want to finish. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, you can also pay this guy like a couple gold. And he'll remove it back to normal again, to neutral. And I think now it's like three gold from where I'm at. But yeah, so you're gonna just follow this guy, complete your quests, and yeah, it should be fun. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience at least. You've been away for a while, so we'll help you get set up in the world. And if you want to accept our offer, you can. Just up here. Ooh, There's the cave. Get your horse. I like that you can shoot the birds and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And you can collect their feathers and meat, and sell it, or you can use it for like trading in it. Uh, trader, if you get the trader class. You, saw a hitching post, you trade huh? the feathers in, and it gives you like materials. But here's the first meeting you get with uh, Mr. Horley. She's anxious and to meet you, lady. Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica, the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell him? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there. Alongside a few other items you might need. A lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. Not bad for your first set of clothes for the guys, I guess. And you can actually like customize everything. You can change your hats, your coats, take it off, change shirts, uh, tuck in your uh, pants for your boots. It's pretty cool. And they got a lot of custom stuff and you can unlock things. Uh, certain uh, classes like collectors, traders, and uh, bounty hunters, they get all their own separate outfits, which is pretty nice. But yeah, so you can spend hours looking through all the clothes, setting the colors, getting custom stuff, weapons you can also customize, 
custom engravings, all that good stuff. You can also cut your hair, uh, dye it, change it later on if you want. You can also like take the hats off of other people. I wish you could also take their coats. But like say you kill another player or a person, you can take their hat. So, pretty fun. But yeah, so I'm going to select what I'm going to use and then we'll go to the quest. That looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, and my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then, Hawley, go introduce him to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! <clears throat> Get up! <laughs> Hello, partner. Hawley? <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? So right here you get to set your camp location and everything. And that's where you can cook and everything like that. So you can rest and all that. And that's where you also your trader class is for your materials. That's where you'll be dropping off to him. That's Mr. Cripps, the guy with the beard. But, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And then on the next episode, we'll take you through the world of Red Dead Online. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching.